This convoy is all about freedom. It's not only with the truck drivers, it's actually for every single person. You, me, buddy down the road, it doesn't matter. Um, it's all about your free choice. You can't lock up healthy people and expect them to remain healthy, okay? So the children have not been in school. I personally believe that is wrong. Um, they sh we need to drop the mask, drop the mandates, and start living our lives again. Yeah. What this woman is saying is probably poignant. I, ca I can't tell. I can barely hear anything over the honking. Watching this made me feel bad for anyone who's actually stuck in that traffic all day because you realize if you were stuck in that traffic, your honk sounds exactly as the protest honk. You can't separate the two. He's like, pop, 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 hey, I'm late for work. That's right, brother, down with the vaccines. But yeah, thousands of these truckers have ground Canada's capital city to a halt. And I'm all for vaccines, but I do get why the truckers wouldn't think that they need them. I mean, think about it. They spend all day, every day, alone in their trucks. The only person they would give COVID to are the hitchhikers that they'll murder or get murdered by. Either way, COVID isn't their biggest problem is what I'm saying. Now, what I don't understand is why truckers are opposed to masks. I don't get that. I mean, masks are just mud flaps for your face. You just put a sexy lady silhouette on it and you feel right at home. And these COVID protests in Canada are nothing new, by the way, right? Actually, they're not new anywhere in the world. Like you can walk around outside basically any day and you will see people yelling about how they're not allowed to go outside to do exactly what they're doing. But if you live in Ottawa, well, it turns out you might be seeing this particular protest for a really, really long time. The uh, people who have organized this say that they will stay out there months if needed. They have raised well over $6 million US to their fund on the GoFundMe page. The truckers say they're prepared to stay for months as long as they have fuel. You're prepared to stay for a month? Yeah. I got a month's worth of food in there. These are people who have arrived, you know, since Friday in through the rest of this Saturday uh, and plan to stay here, many of them say, um, until their demands are met. Damn, you can really feel these truckers' passion. I mean, you can't hear it because they're honking over everything, but still, you heard them, you know? They say that they're gonna be there for as long as it takes. And I, I believe them. Yeah, nobody's more prepared for a months long protest than a trucker. I mean, think about it. They have all of our stuff in the back of their trucks. Next month, you're gonna see one of them giving an interview wearing the Snuggie that you ordered for Christmas. And it's not just having the supplies, by the way. Truckers make very effective protesters. Like, they can make a lot of noise. They're used to being away from home. And police are afraid to confront them because any one of those trucks could just turn into a transformer. That shit is too risky. Of course, street protests in general are a healthy part of any democracy. You know, like putting up campaign posters or drawing dicks on campaign posters. But things got a little out of hand in Ottawa when some of the freedom protesters decided they wanted a little more freedom than most people were comfortable with. While much of the protest was peaceful this morning, police are investigating some incidents involving the desecration of national monuments, including Canada's Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Last night, another protester was seen climbing onto the monument. This morning, it was marked with urine stains. The swastika flag seen at protests denounced by two conservative MPs who had openly supported the convoy. At this shelter in Ottawa, staff say protesters showed up last night demanding food meant for the homeless. One member was assaulted and a security guard was called a racial slur. Wow. Nazi flags, peeing on war memorials, shouting racial slurs in homeless shelters. Honestly, it's kind of refreshing to see Canadians break their stereotype. Although maybe they did all of this in like a very polite way. Go back to where you came from, eh? I'll give you a ride if you want. I do kind of feel bad for the vast majority of the protesters who aren't Nazis though, because like, I mean, people, let's admit it. Once a Nazi flag shows up at a rally, the whole thing has just turned into a Nazi rally. You know, it's like when you put the cantaloupe in a fruit salad. It doesn't matter what other fruits are in there. It all tastes like cantaloupe now. Cantaloupe is the, the Hitler fruit is what I'm saying.